This is my 1968 Dodge Polara. If you're watching this right now, it might be late at night, you're bored, and you found this channel by mistake. said uh, 68 Dodge Polara um, it's got a 318 two-barrel carburetor uh, 727 transmission I'm pretty sure it's got a uh, an eight and a three-quarter rear end I'm pretty sure and I, I haven't really looked I haven't really done a ton I bought this car out of a field. And I don't think he was sitting there very long. But uh, some critters had gotten to the wires, uh, ignition wires. Just replaced those. I rebuilt the carburetor. Went through the brakes. I, I did put new brake lines on it. Um, it's got four wheel drum brakes. So you won't be stopping on any dimes. Maybe maybe a quarter it still stops like oh, it's still, it stops awful it's a really nice cruiser oh I did put a new fuel line on there flushed out the gas tank got some shocks in the trunk she sits real low she's really it's a long it's a big car you get a couple people in here and my driveway's at an angle so she'll have a tendency to drag ass a little bit had an oil leak fix that you know, when I got it, it had, uh, like, the bumperettes, so, uh, it came in at about 18 feet 6 inches. I took the bumperettes off, they were a little rusty, I didn't care for the way they looked. Um, now actually, I think she comes in at about 18 feet, give or take. Hell, I don't even think this thing's gonna do a burnout. We're gonna try, though. You don't really steer it. In, in cars of this era, you kind of just, uh, you more or less just aim them. Somebody put a pretty decent exhaust on it before I got it. It's just a dual exhaust with some cherry bombs on there.
many people think that these were attractive. I don't mind the way it looks. It's definitely a survivor car. Thing kind of just glides down the road. was okay. That's it. Um, she's gonna live here for a few weeks. I got some stuff to do out back. I got a couple other cars. And I uh, just probably start turning some wrenches on them. I'd ask you to like and subscribe, but I'm probably gonna be ashamed after I see this.